Just in case y'all forgot, this is who I am. This is right here. This is what I do. This is the Diamond Crew. But I want to give a shout out to my G's and my OG's. But you already know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe. I need you to share this. I need you to hit that notification bell. So you always up to date with the Eagle Visionary. First off, this team is destined for greatness. First day of OTAs was May 30th, and they will meet again on June 1st and 2nd, the 5th and the 6th, and the 8th. Look, most of these activities are optional for veteran players like, like Fletcher Cox, but he was in attendance with the new Speed Flex face mask, you know, with the all black tent, you know what I mean? Looking real devious, like a thief in the night. Look, to me, man, Cox may have lost a little weight. Seemed like he is a little bit smaller, um, you know, just from looking at the picture. We don't know yet, but that's what it looks like to me. Jordan Davis, my dog. Jordan Davis is looking more in shape this year than last year. I'm talking about, you know, you can just look at him and tell that he lost about maybe 20 to 25 pounds, something like that. But man, this guy could be in for a big year in his second year. Look, man, I'm telling y'all, we love Jordan Davis. Jalen Carter is a difference maker from day one. His teammates are even expressing that he is extremely strong with all the intangibles. That, in fact, um, is something to look forward to. I think that he is a day one starter, and that is very exciting. Reports from Dave Spadaro on the Philly Mike podcast that he's over there breaking the Philadelphia Eagles training uh, equipment. <sighs> Look, man, that just tell you one thing. This dude is an animal. He's ready. He's ready to start ripping this, these offensive line to pieces. And look, this is something we really got to think about. The last day one starter was who? Probably Devontae Smith. So this year, Jalen Carter will be a day one starter. That's just my opinion, but I think that he will be a day one starter. Nolan Smith is the second player I'm excited to see play this year. Nolan Smith is making a lot of noise. Nolan Smith is very vocal. He is letting everybody know that he is about to show out this season. He was on a podcast saying, look, he just want to tear people up basically it don't matter if it's cold out if it's hot out he ready to start hitting people that's the attitude we need here and with you know nolan smith and Jalen carter both picked in the first round look man those guys are starting they starting already and they will wreck shit for years to come smith told the eagles new dc sean desai he wants to be on the field he wants to win in Philly, so keep up that energy. We have to make sure that we're ready, and he is ready. He told Sean, he told Sean Desai, give him the PDF, give him the playbook. He is ready to get out there, game one, and make an impact. A veteran defensive player that I look forward to is Temple Native, Hassan Reddick. He is a game changer who at any time can redirect the game in the Eagles' favor. Last year, 49 tackles, 16 sacks, and five forced fumbles. I'm excited about, you know, seeing what he can do this year and how he can rebound off that exciting season last year. Look, I want y'all to remember this. We feast from the trenches in Philly. That's where we at. We love to make sure we strong in the trenches. And that's why we beat up on these other teams. We big dogs, man. Philly dogs. 
Philly dogs and we coming. D Hop, released from the cards. Look, I would love D Hop on the Eagles, but that would probably be unfair. D Hop did follow Jalen Hurts on IG. However, however, D Hop taking a back seat behind Brown and Smith would definitely not be ideal. Not for him, you know, not for fantasy owners as well. To me, other teams like the Ravens or the Bills or Super Bowl champions, Kansas City could definitely be in the market for a set receiver. But look, in my opinion, no matter where he goes, he'll be an asset for sure. Here on the DCSP, Sidney Brown is next up on the docket. He is super impressive and deserves the spotlight on him. Tune into the next podcast so we can discuss what he brings to the table. But if you're still watching this, if you're still seeing it, make sure y'all like this. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all share this and hit that notification bell. I need y'all to take care of those five things for me. I need it because that makes the algorithm do that stuff that we like. But look, how to out.